Hi, I'm the list girl, and I'd consider myself quite the movie buff. And there was a movie that Georgia wanted to watch, and so we went to the cinema, but we didn't want to go to just any cinema. And so I was able to complete bucket list goal number 693 visit the Castle Cinema in London. Georgia and I decided to make a day of it, which is what we usually do whenever we visit London for a certain thing. And so before we took our trip to the cinema, we took a little detour to the V&A to attempt to complete another bucket list goal. And I'll just show you what happens. Just, just watch. We just came in through this entrance. Cool. So we came here for the library, but I've noticed that there is a, a exhibition on Buddhism in Japan. So um, we're going to go here, go in through the garden, because I'd like to see the garden as well. Go in through to the Japan exhibition and then through Buddhism. Then we're going to come round to Islamic Middle East, because George would like to see that. And then we're going to go upstairs to the library. Exciting stuff. a lot of <laughs> Japanese culture and I'm not quite sure why but I feel very connected to it for some reason. I'm loving this place. So we walked in and the lady said, it's too full, you can't come in, which sucks. It's literally there. It's literally here. Good luck, lady. I, I know, right? I feel like it's the blood donation thing all over again, but it's okay because thanks to Georgia, I've got something else on my bucket list to do later today. So we head over there then. Yep. We'll tackle this another time. Yes. The V&A Museum is still here. nice. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed the V&A Museum. And I had so many facts ready. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I researched. Yeah. After this, we made our way to the Castle Cinema. We watched Booksmart, which is a movie about two girls graduating high school, one of them being gay, which is probably the only reason why we... <laughs> We watched the movie um, but the thing I love most about movies is the way that they make me feel 
transported. I get to live out the life of the main character, I guess, in a certain way. I get to experience their story and, fa and face their troubles. It's like learning new life lessons without actually having to, you know, make the mistakes that they do. It's, it's a form of escapism per se and it also helps me to not feel alone say for example the characters are experiencing a similar thing that i am for example whenever i am sick or unwell I always feel this this need watch either Howl's Moving Castle or Princess Mononoke by Studio Ghibli. And the reason for this is because, I, I don't know about you guys, but let me know in the comments below if you feel this way too, but whenever I'm sick, it always feels like it's never ending and that that is the way that my life is going to be <laughs> from then on. <laughs> I'm just gonna forever live with a runny nose and clogged, I don't know, lungs. I just feel like I'm just never gonna get any better even though technically for me, whenever I have gotten sick, it's only <laughs> ever lasted 24 hours. Whenever I watch those movies, when I am unwell, it helps me feel like I'm not alone. And if Howl and um, whatever that dude's name is from Princess Mononoke, whenever like like they they're faced with with a curse, like they're cursed, and in fact the dude from Princess Mononoke is like <laughs> destined to die after he is attacked by the giant swine, and yet they they still manage to find a way out. So it makes me feel like they were able to get out of their curse. I'm sure. <laughs> I get rid of my fucking cold, you know what I mean? That's just some of my favourite things about watching movies. The thing I love most about the castle cinema was the... all the developmental changes that it had to go through in order to become the beautiful, vintage, cosy, adorable cinema that it is, like, today. Like a form of metamorphosis, but for architecture. And that is exactly why I wanted to visit the castle cinema, not just not just any old cinema that we've probably been to like a million times. It was on my bucket list because just like we humans experience our own metamorphosis, our own forms of development and betterment, this cinema, this building experienced the same thing. And now it is so, so beautiful. Castle Electric Theatre opened on 8th of September 1913 as an independent single screen cinema. It ran until 1958 when it was turned into a bingo hall, then a warehouse, and most recently a snook hall. If there is one thing that I learnt from experiencing and completing this bucket list goal, it's that it is so different, so so different to watch a movie in a place that is so refined and well-structured and just classical, like a classic cinema, not like The View or Odeon, as much as I love them and a majority of the time I watch movies at Odeon, but there is something so, so different about watching a movie in a beautifully cosy like armchairs and with the vintage design like the classic cinema look before i log off i have one question to ask what experience will you make happen <laughs> <laughs>